and welcome back to Books and Things. My name's Katie and this week I'm going to be doing the Bookish Beginnings tag. I was tagged by Lauren from Lauren and the Books, whose lovely channel I will link down below. The original tag was created a few weeks ago by Lauren from Reads and Daydreams and I will link her video down below as well. Question number one, what kind of books did you like to read as a child? As a child I liked quite a different variety of books but I don't remember all of them that well because as a child I was a terrible skim reader. I used to skim everything, I would just read the dialogue and the exciting bits and I used to like miss people's deaths and stuff, it was it was bad. My favourite books when I was a kid were definitely The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. I also loved the Ink Heart, Ink Spell trilogy. I also loved books like The Silver Sword by Erin Selida and The Butterfly Line by Michael Monpurgo. Number two, the first adult fiction book that you read. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte when I was 13. Question number three, the first classic book that you read that wasn't for school. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte when I was 13. I basically went from kids fantasy to classics and didn't really read that much adult modern fiction until I was like 19. I read some but mostly I just I just read Victorian literature because I discovered it at 13 and loved it. After reading Jane Eyre I went on to discover like Elizabeth Gaskell and Charles Dickens and Jane Austen and all these other amazing authors that I loved and then I spent most of my teenage years reading that and not reading any adult modern books at all. Number four, tell us about a book that introduced you to a new favourite genre or writing style. Firstly, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte because it did introduce me to the whole world of 19th century literature which I love so much but also I'm gonna say Kajit Shiguru's Never Let Me Go for the sake of interest I don't just want to give the same answer three times in a row and when I read Kazu Ishiguru's Never Let Me Go I was in second year at university I was studying it on a modern literature course and I loved it so much and it made me realise that actually I also do really like modern literature. I think Never Let Me Go probably introduced me to like contemporary literary fiction and made me realise that there are a lot of books that I love that were not written in the 19th century and since then I read a lot more contemporary fiction which is great because I really enjoy it. Number five, what was the first literary prize winner that you read? Apparently Life of Pi by Jan Martel. I read this when I was about 15 but I had no idea at the time or since that it won a prize. I only realised it won a prize when watching someone else's bookish beginning video, it was Holly from um, Library at the Edge of the World I believe, she mentioned this one for this question and I was like oh I, I didn't realise that I had won a prize but it won the Booker Prize in 2002 I think. I think I read it when I was about 15. The first book I ever read just because it had won a prize was Will Self's Umbrella which was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize a few years ago and I actually really didn't like it, I found it very 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 difficult to understand, I didn't get anything out of it, I got to the end and I still didn't know what had happened in the book at all so yeah, that, that wasn't great, but anyway. Question number six. What was the first piece of translated fiction you ever read? The first piece of translated literature I read was actually Victor Hugo's Les Miserables, which is quite a long place to start. However, I was really into the 19th century when I was a teenager, as I said before, and I absolutely loved the musical and I just wanted to read something that was 19th century but not British and I wanted to discover more about where this musical came from that I loved so much. So I read Les Miserables. I think it's brilliant. I love it, I love it so much. It is really, really long. It is very long-winded, like it takes a while to get to the point, but it is a brilliant, brilliant book. And it is also surprisingly funny. Like Victor Hugo is really witty. and There's a lot of very funny bits for a book that is called Les Miserables and is really quite sad. Question number seven. Tell us about what it was like to upload your first booktube video. It took me a really long time. I've been watching booktube an awful lot for the last year, I guess, and I've been kind of wanting to do it for ages. I kept on thinking about it and putting it off. Back in April, I think, I did the classics tag on my blog because I really wanted to like join in with booktube, but I didn't want to actually make booktube videos because I was really scared of it. And then at the end of May, I filmed two videos just to try to see what happened. And I kind of edited them and watched them back and I really wasn't pleased with them. So I decided that I wasn't going to do it. And I made like a proper decision. And I thought, right, I'm never going to do this booktube thing. I should just stop dreaming about it. It's not going to happen. I'm just not suited to it. I'm not going to do it. And then a few weeks after, after that Jen Campbell made a video called Let's Talk About Booktube. I mentioned this story in my like introductory video which I will link down below and her video just reminded me why I love Booktube and why I wanted to be a part of it and I was like right I'm gonna do this. So I filmed two more videos which I was happy with and then I, I sent them to my boyfriend and was like please I really want to do this but I don't want to make a fool of myself on the internet help me and after that I think one of those videos I uploaded and the other one I refilmed and yeah here I am. I'm really glad that I've been doing this. This has been so, so much fun. Like, I, 
I really love making videos, I really love talking to people in the comments, I love the fact that I'm like chatting to lots of other really cool booktubers and that hopefully me and Verity and Lauren are going to meet up in the future, like that's really exciting and really cool, I'm really glad to have booktube in my life. It was quite nerve-wracking to upload my first video, like I consider myself a fairly shy person and I used to be a lot shyer than I am now. Like a few years ago, even last year, I, I couldn't have done this. There's no way I would have uploaded videos of myself to the internet talking about books because I just wouldn't have like thought my voice worthy to be heard. I wouldn't have thought that I had anything interesting to say. But if there is one thing I can talk about, it's books. So here I am. I'm excited. I'm going to be around for a while. So that's the end of my tag video. I'm going to tag Shelley from Collie the Wobbles and Chantal from Book Hands. I will link both their channels down below in the description. Have a good week. Happy reading. I'll be back with another video on Monday.